family, it's Christy with Design to a Diva, and in today's video, I have a short haul for you. I, uh, if you've seen any of my previous videos, you know that I recently had uh, weight loss surgery, and tomorrow starts puree food. So I picked up a few items um, to help me get started. I will begin eating regular food but in a puree form similar to baby food so i am going to show you all the things that i got before i put them away and that'll help you to better understand what the puree phase, phase is so let's get started with the video so here we have just a scan of all the items minus the fruit that's in that basket and the water all of the items that I picked up today, um, as you can see, it doesn't take much um, for me to get three to five meals a day. I'm actually supposed to have six meals a day, but I haven't done that since I had surgery. That's been really difficult because it's been just liquids, but I'm curious to see how the puree phase will be. So the first thing that I got was um, some more protein drinks. And I actually got these two four packs um, because I went in Walmart and they didn't have the large cases that I'm used to getting, but I wanted to try two different flavors. So I got a four pack of the Premier Protein. As you can see, it has one gram of sugar, 160 calories and 30 grams of protein. This flavor is the bananas and cream. And I've had this before and really liked it. And um, as I explained in a previous video, your taste buds will change after surgery. So I'm hoping that I still like it. I also got the Atkins protein drink. I've had this before and really liked it. It's cafe caramel and it contains real coffee. It has 15 grams of protein one gram of sugar so i'm excited to try that i also got a bottle of stoke cold brew coffee um one of my weight loss sisters mini me in tennessee i was watching what she eats in a day and one way that she's able to get her protein drinks in in the morning is with the cold brew coffee and um protein shake so i'm gonna try that I got this Prego Farmer's Market Classic Marinara Sauce. Um, I, Mini Me in Tennessee also had a recipe for ricotta bake and I did it before when I was in the pre puree stage with my um, previous surgery. It was really good and went down well so I'm going to make one of those. You need the classic, the marinara sauce. You also need Parmesan cheese, so I got some of that. Mozzarella cheese, so I got that in the low moisture part skim. Mozzarella cheese. And you need ricotta bake. Not sure what that is on there. So I got some ricotta, excuse me, you need ricotta cheese. So I got the 15 ounce of ricotta cheese. It really called for eight ounces. But they didn't have eight ounces, so I'll just uh, weigh it out. I also got some Mexican um, four cheese cheese because I like that in my eggs. So I got a 18 count large egg. Um, I could probably only eat one at a time, but eggs and cheese were my go-to in the puree and the soft food st um, stages. So. I got some of that. I also got a small container of guacamole because who doesn't like guacamole on their eggs and that will help it be even more uh, softer. I got salsa con queso cheese because there I have a recipe with that in it. And I also have this gourmet salsa. It's the mild. I got salsa because I like salsa on my eggs as, as well as cheese. And also you can mix it with a lot of different stuff for a good flavor. 
Then I got this roasted cauliflower mac and cheese. It's supposed to be really creamy. And instead of pasta or um, potatoes, um, cauliflower is a good substitute when you are on a weight loss diet. So I only got one because I want to try it. What I liked about it is it had 11 grams of uh, protein and 5 grams of fiber. Then I got these sugar-free mints. I get these every time I go in Walmart because whenever I have a dry mouth or just want some flavor, I can have sugar-free mint. And then these Brock cinnamon sugar-free discs are really good as well. Now, I got some Kraft olive oil mayo. It's half the fat of regular may mayonnaise. It doesn't have any protein, but it only has 50 calories. I'm going to need that with my tuna. I got several packs of the Starkist Tuna Creations. They're only 70 to 80 calories depending on the pack, but they have anywhere from 13 to 18 grams of protein. So this deli style tuna salad uh, by Tuna Creations has 80 calories, 13 grams of protein, and it's wild caught. The Star Kiss Tuna Creations Ranch only has 70 calories, 15 grams of protein, and it's wild caught. The Chunk Light Tuna in Water has 70 calories and 17 grams of protein. Uh, there's another deli style tuna. I got the Bacon Ranch Tuna Creations Wild Caught Tuna, 80 calories, 15 grams of protein. I thought that would taste really good, but we'll see. And then I got the Herb and Garlic. It has 110 calories, 16 grams of protein, and it's wild caught. So I'm excited to give these a try. I haven't tried them since um, my last surgery or since my last puree phase, really. Um, but I think I'm going to eat them more. I put all the groceries up and transferred the video from the camera to the phone and got ready to edit. And as I was laying in the bed watching the video, I realized that I didn't talk about the yogurt. It was on the counter, but I didn't talk about it. So I wanted to share that I got some more of the Dannon Oiko Triple Zero Greek yogurt, it has zero sugar and 15 grams of protein. This one is in orange cream, peach, mixed berry, banana and cream, and then vanilla. So these will last me one a day for this week. And I'll probably do some bigger grocery shopping this week. And then I got some grapes for my husband, some bananas for my husband, and some bell pepper to flavor his food. So there you have it. That's my haul for today. So this haul total cost was $44. And I'm really excited to start cooking for myself um, on this diet because it's so cost efficient. So. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video.